want us to make a truth table for if not P, then Q and R. To begin, notice how the given statement has three variables, P, Q, and R. These are the first three columns of the truth table. And then we have a column for not P, we have a column for Q and R, and finally we have a column for the given implication. Because we have three variables, notice it takes eight rows to list all the possible permutations of true and false. We have true, 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 false, true, false, true, true, false, 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 true, true, false, true, false, 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 true, and finally false, false, false. And now for the next column, not P is false when P is true, and not P is true when P is false. The column for not P is false, 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 true, 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 true. Next we have the conjunction Q and R. Q and R is true only when Q is true and R is true. Analyzing rows two and three, notice Q is true and R is true in row one as well as row five. In these two rows, the conjunction Q and R is true. All the rows, the conjunction is false. The column for Q and R is true, false, 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 true, false, false, false. For the final column, we have the given implication, if not P, then Q and R. An implication is false only when the hypothesis is true and when the conclusion is false, which means in this case, when not P is true and Q and R is false. So looking at columns four and five, notice not P is true and Q and R is false in rows six, seven, and eight. In these three rows, the given implication is false. All the other rows, the implication is true. The last column of the truth table is true, 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 false, false, false. And now we have our completed truth table. I hope you found this helpful.